hello there this is a really quick one. Oh, hang on my sound broken there uh, there we go yeah this is uh, an interesting little machine you might well it's hardly little as <laughs> you might have seen there it's uh, yeah this thing's getting a video of its own so we won't go into too much details on what's in there but as you probably gathered it's got SCSI in it multi boots um, now you might notice there we do have a RAM disk and this is an interesting thing because this is Windows 98 and some of you may already be aware that Windows 98 has a very hard time handling any memory above 512 megabytes however if I've done this properly I've just discovered a way that I can use almost all of 2 gigabytes on it and in fact if I did my mathematics I could probably use 2 gigabytes of RAM on here uh, let's start Windows and see if we can actually figure this out as you can see I have been changing some things I'm not yet sure whether this will work properly it might just crash but I'm feeling quietly confident I might even upload this if it goes wrong so you can laugh at me fucking this up um, I'm also yeah I mean I, if this works and uh, you'd like a video walking you through how it's done I can do that for you uh, it's all looking good so far <laughs> Now we better not play with the system properties. Now I might have to be really mean to Windows here. But if I've done it right, you'll notice this little thing right here. This is my MS RAM drive. And there we go. That is what we call a swap file. And what a swap file is, it is virtual memory. And I think quite a few people will be familiar with virtual memory. Basically, what you've got to assume is the memory is kind of like the trash can. It gets full sometimes. And when it gets full, then you'd get an out of memory message usually but you can actually go past that and by default Windows does it uses what it calls a swap file or a paging file it's pagefile.sys on later systems you might have seen that in this it's win386.swp swap file and effectively it moves things from the memory when the memory's full like a program that's not doing much at the moment puts it in the swap file and it'll run whichever application is more important in the RAM However, I've effectively just enabled a heck of a lot more RAM. Admittedly, I've limited the size of the swap file somewhat by doing that, but I can't see anything running under Windows 98 that's going to require more than 2 gigabytes, given that it can't allocate more than a gigabyte to a single program. So, unless you were doing some extreme multitasking, things should actually be quite a lot faster. I mean, if I was to run a benchmark on that drive, you would find that it was a hell of a lot quicker than actually using something else. Okay, now this should be interesting. This is a way I've just thought of that we can test this out. So we've got a SCSI hard drive here. This is a SCSI drive. And here we have Dark Forces, which is... Well, you should fucking know what Dark Forces is. I mean, come on. Uh, we're on drive D. It's been hacked, so I don't have to put the CD in, uh, along with a few other things. I do have, have the CD, I just can't bother to put it in and load CD drivers, because then you definitely get out of memory messages. So, uh, oh dearie me, you know what my name is now, I'll have to cover up. I'm not actually that worried about people knowing my name, I think you probably know it already. I'm not hard to find. And let's see what the loading time is here. So, yeah, we'll use the first level, begin mission. We load it on hard because there's a bit more to load. And it only took a couple of seconds, like, but that's loaded off SCSI. So we've got about, I think it checked out about 60 megabytes per second under uh, HD tube this drive. For sequential read, at least. That's all I ever really bother to look at. What we're doing video editing and stuff, that's all I'm worried about. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that was quite fast anyway, because, I mean, this machine's pretty, you know, it's got big balls, but let's try it off that RAM disk. It's the same installation. You probably saw the end of me copying it there. I think I'll leave that in. Uh, so let's try loading it from here. Okay, well, this time we're going to tell it the CD drives on E. And we'll load the same map to be fair. Begin mission. On hard. Okay. Well, you didn't even get the screen up that time. 
I still saw it on my monitor there for a second, but all I'll do is I'll side by side those, and if you listen to the music, it should be a giveaway as to which one takes longer. So that should give you an idea of how quick a RAM drive is versus using a regular swap for that. I mean, I was using the SCSI drive before. So this machine is got balls. And that's an R64 if you're wondering what sound card's in here. So yeah, interesting. I might have just broken some kind of record. I might have treason and I'll be back with a proper video very soon. Okay. Word. Well, you didn't even get the screen up that time. It only took a couple